Sönke is a member of the celebrated Rothenberger family who own the revered Gestut Erlenhof stud. It's situated in the Black Forest region of Germany and home to some of Europe's most famous equine dressage stars. Well, now the whole show season is actually more or less over. We're actually uh, just before the indoor season, uh, which will probably not play such a big role for me now. I have some promising young horses which I'm developing at the moment and I hope to compete them next outdoor season next year and then for the future hopefully I have some exciting horses for the big tour. Fendi is probably the most exciting young horse I have in our stable at the moment. Um, yeah, I personally believe that he's a super talented horse with a lot of potential and he actually yeah, shows quite some skills for only being seven year old and yeah so this horse I'm really looking forward to and I can't wait to show him off. Fendi, what I love about him more, he really is, the more love you give him, you get it so back. Like he loves his cuddles. I mean, he just loves being cuddled and touched and because we get the time to spend with them and it's so, and you get it back. I mean, he really is a horse that needs a lot of attention, but not in a mean way, just in an absolutely love, funny, play in, because he loves my scarf, like every time we do it. Or if I have something in my back pocket, I normally have my gloves. And Fendi's toy, he goes to my pocket, pulls my gloves out, and then we just keep playing. And he's so lovely for a seven-year-old. And then when you get, finally get to see him move, then all the pleasure comes back because you see what talent this horse has. Come on inside and let's have a look at our tack room. So yeah, this is our brand new tack room here. Uh, you can all see all the big names here, uh, Cosmos, Bridles, then we have Santiano, Fendi, Tony, but also the new rising star from my sister, Flanel. Uh, those are all the bridles here. Most of the time we spend in here, we put our boots on, we have our boots and helmets over there. Then we have some benches here for us riders to take a seat, uh, change from our daily shoes uh, into our riding boots. Every child has their own cupboard, so yeah, this is my cupboard in here. It's not cleaned up, we better not show this. <laughs> All the saddles are put nicely away by our team. So we start off with uh, fresh, clean saddles and yeah, tack. So that's the best way to, to start the day. He has the right mixture of, first of all, being relaxed and uh, still being engaged and having the right energy. But uh, yeah, so that's what we're looking for in a top a young horse and I think he has it all. Both my parents are actually always around in the mornings when I usually train my own horses so here and there I get tips from both of them and uh, yeah actually in fact of the whole family also my uh, both my sisters when they have uh, something to criticize they they don't uh, don't stay behind uh, the wall or keep their mouth shut they of course tell me which is good because only uh, in that way you can uh, improve. Harmony to me is probably one of the most important features in dressage and I always have to think of a good old saying from an old horse trainer who said a horse without a rider is still a horse but a rider without a horse is just a human being. So now he's doing again to develop a more cadence steps in trot. Yeah, super. Super. Yeah, well, basically he has three fantastic gates, which nowadays is quite important. So that's a big plus point, but then also the ease and the, the, the cadence he has in, in, in his movements are quite phenomenal to me. Yeah, super. That was really, really good. And that's what I like of him. When you come to him, he looks at you and he looks like a young boy who's really friendly, thinking, what are you doing here? And he's really a positive character. What I love about this horse is every day very positive coming out of the stable. He looks at you like a young boy who says come on let's work. I'm so bored to be in the box I want to do something and work together with you. 
And that's really when you look now in his face, when he's moving there, when he's walking there, he's saying, wow, I did something special today. I'm a happy horse. And that's what we are doing that for, to have happy horses, happy horse, happy life. Those are the youngsters from this season. And I think we have a nice bunch here, but uh, at the end of the day, we just know how good they are once the saddle comes on. So it's, yeah, it's really interesting to see how they develop. We have foals which have Totilas, for example, as a grandfather. Uh, we also have Vivaldis. We have a full brother of Van Vivaldi, who was the reserve champion stallion in uh, Westphalia. So yeah, we have some uh, nice, uh, nice foals here, I think. And yeah, we'll see how they develop. Yeah, well, first of all, it's now yeah, a good two and a half years where uh, they can just uh, have fun, uh, play with their friends. But that's also for me, yeah, probably the most nicest thing is just to stand here, look at them, how they grow. Of course, when you buy a foal or you breed a foal and choose a stallion, you have yeah, certain visions of how they will turn out to be. And then to actually come here every day and see if it goes in the direction what we expect or in a different direction, that's, that's actually the, the thrill about it, yeah. This one's a really special one. It's uh, a son from Flanel, the Grand Prix horse of uh, my sister Semika. And the father of this one is uh, Jameson. So a stallion that competed up to yeah, world championships and who looks quite promising towards Grand Prix is quite exciting to see if he just gets half as good as his mother i think we're more than happy to have him in our stable definitely so here we're at the king's stable um this is cosmo um yeah he's feeling good we just came in from his time out on the grass field so yeah he's doing well and looking forward he loves his sugar <laughs> just like no biting. Well, the secret behind my success is mainly having good support from not only family, but also sponsors. And of course, the people behind the horse and in the stable, the staff working in the stable, um, our grooms, and uh, not to forget, most importantly, our horses. If you have good horses, then um, it's uh, easier to compete on top level. And without horses, we can't compete at all. So. Um, yeah, that's, it's a whole big puzzle which has to fit together to, to achieve top results.